G'day everybody, David Bayliss here from BM Pro, and we're about to kick off episode number four. Now episode four today, we're gonna to go to that big question of does lithium stack up when we're talking dollars? Because they're expensive, let's not hide from this, they are expensive. So hopefully today we'll give you a bit more information on why that investment in lithium actually does stack up compared to lead acid batteries. All right, so let's get into it. So I've got Ryan Hammond here again, Ryan, thank you, from SPB. Now Ryan, so one of the big things obviously with um, lead acid batteries versus lithium batteries is the depth of discharge. Yep. So with deep cycle lead acid batteries, it's recommended only to discharge your battery to 50%, correct? About 50%, yeah. correct. Yep. Now what would you recommend on a lithium battery such as these Invicta batteries from being Yeah, look, the, the, the general rule of thumb is about 80% right. depth of discharge. Um, so that's down to 20% remaining. Correct, yep. yep. Uh, we do have uh, applications there where we're taking them a lot lower and, and tested them a lot lower like yep. we do in yeah, the... Yeah, we do it in here, down to 10%. Correct, yep. yep. Um, but the general rule of thumb is, uh, is about 80% depth yep. of discharge. Okay, so if you're doing that, you're gonna get a lot more bang for your buck in actual, you know, the amount of energy. So the amount of energy that we can, I mean, that's our goal, isn't it, when we're out there camping. It's the amount of energy that we can get out of the, there. So you know, how many kids' iPads can we charge, phones can we recharge, all these types of things that we want to be able to use this energy for, a number of lights and things like that in the middle of the night, and how much energy we're going to be able to have to power that fridge, etc., before we have to do a recharge. Yeah. So on a lithium battery, we're going to have, that's going to go for a lot longer, isn't it? Correct, yeah. So it, it's run time. Yeah. Uh, again, sort of uh, cycle life as well. Right. So okay. an example of uh, an AGM battery, uh, again, 50% depth of discharge, let's say it's a 100 amp hour AGM battery, 50% yeah. depth of discharge will give you about 50 amp hours usable capacity. Right. And with their cycle life at 50%, the general rule of thumb is you'll get between seven and 900 cycles mm -hmm. uh, with a regular 50% depth of discharge. Yeah. Compare that to uh, lithium in the yep. Invicta lithium range, let's say you take it down 80%, yep. taking 80 amp hours. So right. 50 amp hours of the AGM, yep. compare that to 80 amp hours of a uh, lithium one. The kicker comes when the number of cycles you're going to get. Correct. Because as we were saying before, you're going to get maybe 700, 800 cycles at a 50% depth of discharge on a lead acid, whereas over here with a lithium, well, we're seeing out the back just discharging it down to 10% remaining capacity that we're well over 1,000, 1,200 already. Yep. So you get about 5,000 at, 5, uh, yep, at about 80% depth of discharge right. um, without uh, too, many, too many issues. So as well as the uh, extended run time, yep. so greater usable capacity, capacity. Yep. you'll also get greater life. And so as a result of that, over the life of your battery, you'd be, re you'd be replacing your, your sort of AGM battery you know, somewhere between six to nine times wow. before replacing a, a lithium ion phosphate battery. So a big upfront investment, but longer term, that's going to pay for itself, isn't it? Correct, yeah. Yeah, yep. so, and we're certainly seeing that, you know, we're seeing that with the cycles that we're getting in ours, so we're getting that in the field as well. So, and what we find, so if you were to bring the numbers back up to a to the same, like, you know, same, same level, if you only discharge this to 50% depth of discharge, like you do with your lead acid, how many cycles are you looking at? Oh, you're looking about 8,000. 8,000 cycles, 8, 000, right. Yeah. I think the battery's going to outlast the campers out yeah, there. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the battery will, battery will be still in the camper and they might have sold the van on three or four times. Yeah, yeah. So overall then, our return for investment, our cost per you know, kilowatt hour, you know, when we consider that number of cycles, yes, it's much more expensive, but it's not 10, 20 times more expensive. It might be four or five times, you know, three, between three to five times, depending yeah. upon the quality which you buy. That return on investment, that cost per kilowatt hour, the lithium from what we've seen in the numbers, literally comes in at half the price of a lead acid, especially when you've got to replace it five or six times. Yep, so over the life of the battery, it'll end up costing you, yeah, uh, around half that of, a, of an AGM. Yeah. All right, so there you go, everyone. Hopefully we've kept it quite simple, quite high level in regards to all the numbers. But the, the, the short version is, at the end of the day, the cost per kilowatt hour of what you're investing in with a lithium battery is half that of a lead acid battery. Lead acid may be cheaper now, but in the long term, lithium's the way to go. All right, we're going to see you in episode five very shortly.